Hi everyone, welcome back to the course. This is lesson number seven. So in today's lesson, we are going to be looking at the words some and any. Uh, these are words that many people who are learning English get confused about because the rules regarding their usage can seem very complicated and vague. And I'll be honest, even Americans sometimes get confused on when to use one word over the other. So sometimes people will say some instead of saying any, and sometimes people will say any instead of saying some. So it can be a little confusing. So today, we are going to learn when to use these words and how to use them. Now, there are several rules that can help determine whether one will be used over the other. These adjectives basically mean the same thing, but they're used in different kinds of sentences, which makes them kind of tricky to learn for those who are learning English. So. First of all, the adjectives some and any are used when the speaker cannot specify or does not want to specify a number or an exact amount of something. So we use some in English with positive statements or with offers, like if somebody's offering you something to eat or if somebody's offering you something to drink or somebody's offering you, you know, to you know, come over their house and have something for dinner. They'll use this word, some, okay? For example, you can say different phrases with it, but I have some flowers, okay? We're not talking about a specific amount. We're just saying in general terms that you have some flowers, okay? We don't know the exact number. They have some time to spare, okay? Time to spare is just another expression for free time, okay? So you could say they have some free time, okay? They have some time to spare, okay? They have some time to spare, they have some free time. We also use some because we don't know the exact amount of time. We're not sure about how many minutes or how many hours we're talking about. Therefore, we use some. Do you want some water? Again, it's an offer. We're offering something to someone. In this case, we're offering water. So we're going to use some. Remember, we use some with positive statements and with offers. So do you want some water? Okay. Next we have, can I have some milk? Again, we're talking about um, getting offered something, taking something. Uh, some milk, we're not sure about the specific amount, like are we talking about one ounce of milk, two ounces of milk, three ounces of milk, etc. We don't know. So therefore we're going to use the word some. Now some can be used with countable and uncountable nouns. If you don't know what uncount, uh, countable and uncountable nouns are, don't worry about it for now. We're going to learn about them in another lesson. So let's go ahead and we'll move on. We're going to now look at the word any. Any is used for questions and negative statements. So some we use for positive statements, any we use for negative statements. For example, do they need any help? Okay, it's a question in this case. Uh, do they need any help? Okay, do they need any help? Okay, so we can say, perhaps we can say, you know, no, they, don't need any help. Or to respond to this, you can say, uh, for example, you could say, yes, they need some help because we're gonna use some with a positive statement. Yes, they need some help, okay? Next, it says, do you need any rice? Okay, again, same sort of thing here. We're gonna say, do you need any rice? It's a question. So we're gonna say, no, I don't need any rice. Or you could say, yes, okay, I need and we're not going to use any, we're going to use some because we're, we're talking, um, we're having a positive response here. I need some rice, 
Okay, do you need any rice? Yes, I need some rice. And finally, do we need anything from the grocery store? Do we need anything from the grocery store? You can see here that we have the word any, okay, any, and then we have thing, okay, thing, like we're talking about something that you would get, in this case, from a supermarket. Because remember, grocery store is another word for supermarket. Okay, we also say supermarket in the United States. However, I think grocery store is a little bit more popular than supermarket. You, you will hear both, but I think most people prefer to say grocery store. So do you need anything, like any item? Is there something that you need? Anything from the grocery store? And as a response, again, we can say, do we need anything? We could say, no, we don't need and we're gonna say anything in this case so any a n y thing so not a single thing not milk not bread not sugar not anything from the grocery store or you could say yes we need something okay so yes we need something okay some Thing. Okay, see how we have thing here? Just like right here, something from the grocery store or the supermarket, okay? Whichever one you wanna, wanna use, you could say those things, okay? Let's go ahead and we'll move on. Um, we're going to be looking at other words that I'm sure will come in handy for you. Unfortunately, these words are also a bit confusing for people who are learning English, so let's go ahead and take a look at them and find out how to use them. The word much is used with uncountable nouns and negative statements in English. For example, there isn't much time. Okay, you don't have a lot of time to do something. There isn't much time. Maybe you have one hour, you have maybe maximum two hours, but the thing you need to do takes four hours or five hours or six hours, so there's not much time to do something. It's more or less a negative sort of sounding statement. Okay, so we'll put like a negative right here. Okay, and then it says, I don't have much money, I only have a dollar, meaning, uh, you don't have much money, we have an expression for that. When you don't have a lot of money, you can say, I am broke, okay? So, I'm broke, right? I have no money, okay? I only have a dollar, okay? So, I only have a dollar. So, there isn't much time. I don't have much money, I only have a dollar. Now, if you want to take these and make them positive, we can also make positive statements using much, but you have to add the word so in front of it. Okay, so you see how we have this word so, so and so. So instead of saying there isn't much time, you could say there is so much time. And instead of saying I don't have much money, you could say uh, I have so much money. You have a lot of money. Okay, next we have the word many. Many is used with countable nouns both uh, in positive and negative statements. So you can say, for example, there are many houses, meaning there are several houses. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's, there could be a lot. Okay, there could be 10 or 20. There are many houses. Okay, we're not sure how many exactly, but we know that there's quite a few. Or you could say there aren't many houses. Here we have aren't, are not, okay? There are many houses or there aren't many houses. There are not many houses. He has many kids, he has four. And then here we have he doesn't have many kids. He only has one. So again, we can use this with positive and negative statements. It doesn't matter, you choose. Now we have a lot of, which is very similar. Okay, a lot of uh, can be used with positive and negative sentences as well. And you say that there is a lot of something um, when the noun uh, is, for example, uncountable. Okay, so when we say that there is a lot of something, the noun must be countable or in the plural. All right, so let's go ahead and look at uh, some more examples here. Because you can use a lot of with pretty much everything. 
So a lot of is a really useful one because you don't have to really worry about whether something is uh, countable or uncountable, okay? So let's go ahead and look. There is a lot of milk, okay? There is a lot of milk, okay? Milk, in this case, is uncountable. So there is a lot of milk. There isn't a lot of coffee. Okay, so there is not a lot of coffee. So you can see that in this case, you can use the words milk and coffee, which are both uncountable nouns and in the singular form. Okay, so they're in the singular form. Now we'll use a lot of with countable nouns, but remember with it's a, when it's a countable noun, it's got to be in the plural. Okay, so we have to have an S at the end. There are a lot of bicycles, you know, when you ride your bicycle to go somewhere. There are a lot of bicycles with an S, okay? It is, uh, these are countable, so countable, and they're in the plural, whereas these ones here, these are uncountable, okay? And it doesn't matter whether it's singular or plural, they're uncountable. Finally, there aren't a lot of jobs, meaning where you work. There aren't a lot of jobs. Again, we have a noun that is uncountable and in the plural form, okay? So everyone, that's pretty much it for this lesson. I hope it wasn't too difficult for you, and I hope to see you in the next lesson as well. Take care, bye.